Okay. Hey, welcome to another Thoughts on Thursday coming at you from my favorite room in the house where we do homeschool. So, okay, last week I brought up um, just some thoughts about worship, just things I've been thinking about, processing with my husband about how we define worship. And I really loved all of the thoughtful comments that came in. Um, and, and by thoughtful, I, I don't mean like nice. I, I mean, lots of nice comments, yes. But thoughtful, like I could tell that so many of you were considering what I was saying and kind of joining me in this processing and, and like really thinking about it and really giving some thought to it. And um, there were other comments that like weren't as fun <laughs> to, to read, if I'm totally honest. Um, you know, obviously these videos, I'm trying to keep them shorter, you know, it just it's better and easier that way. Um, so obviously there are so many other things I could say and so many other thoughts behind this. But just as I say this is thoughts on Thursday, it's just literally just thoughts. These are just little snippets of kind of what I've been thinking about. And when I started doing thoughts on Thursday, I kind of decided, you know, that I wanted to start having conversations about some things and address some things that I think need to be addressed. And and some of these conversations, I think, are honestly hard conversations. And um, there are things in regards to worship and the industry that I just think need to be talked about. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do with these little snippets and little pieces of videos where I'm just kind of bringing up some different things and talking about some different things. I'm just kind of setting the table for us to have some of these conversations. And I kind of do want to provoke, um, like I like I saw, that the, the thoughts and the comments, people saying, oh, I haven't thought about this or I haven't thought about this or well, what about this, what about this? I just think it's good to have the conversations. It's really vulnerable, honestly. Social media is not really a place that um, I enjoy as I don't think it's really that healthy. Um, and I, I I don't really spend a lot of time on there and I don't spend too much time in the comments because um, it, it is kind of a scary, vulnerable place sometimes. And it does bring unwelcomed thoughts sometimes and, and criticisms. Speaking of that, that brings me to another topic regarding criticisms. Um, I was just having a conversation with my husband about this not too long ago. This is something we've been talking about a really long time. And then the conversation came up with another friend over text message. And I was like, I'm not the only person thinking about this and talking about this and thinking this way. And so I wanted to bring it up because it's kind of funny, um, but this is real. It's so real. So when I, as a worship leader or other worship leaders or worship artists or whatever kind of label you are giving them. And again, going back to last week, I guess, you know, it depends on what we define as worship. That could determine what, what kind of label you might give someone. Anyway, put it all out there. If I go out and we do like a tour, I'm, I'm doing a tour in South Africa in June, really excited about that. Um, I've been asked with the, all this new music that's coming out, will I be doing a tour here in the US? We've been talking about it, but the one thing that just grates against me and my husband when it comes to tours um, is the cost. And the criticism has come many times before for many years. Um, why are you charging money? Why do we have to buy a ticket to go worship God? And um, truly, just those words. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> No one wants to buy a ticket to worship God. Go to church on Sunday, worship God. Turn on some worship music, worship God in your house. You don't need to buy a ticket to go worship God. Certainly not. But the bummer part is that to go out and to, to do the tours, to do those things, it costs a lot of money. Money that we don't have. Uh, it costs money to, you know, churches typically charge. They they rent out their venues for us to use. And some churches are like, well, this is maybe how they pay the bills, how they, um, you know, pay for their building. I don't know, pay the electricity. They have a whole host of people that are usually working there while the event is going on, you know, whether it's security or helping with parking or just someone kind of running th things around there. Um, they'll have um, people who are, uh, what am I thinking of? Um, 
helping manage like the flow of people coming in. Um, oh, cleanup, like people coming in to do, to do cleanup afterwards. Like, I mean, all these things, there's the cost of getting everybody there, you know, tour bus or flights or, you know, both there's the cost of, of paying the people, paying the production guys to, who are running the sound, paying the band, like there's, there's all of these costs involved in it. And, um, Skylar and I have said, um, to friends who work within the, the different companies that help put the tours on, we've said for years, a dream in our heart is to be able to go out and have a tour where every night is free. Just come, come with your family. It's just free just to be there. But that is something we, we've actually worked trying to find a way that we could do that and make that happen. Like how we could go out and, and have it be free. And the only way that we could do this is if it was just funded. And, um, I, like I said, I, I, I would love to just, to just do it, to just make it happen. But I can't, I can't ask my, my band members to come and work for free away from their homes, away from their families, or even partially away from their regular full-time jobs. I can't just ask, you know, these production guys or a tour bus, <laughs> Hey, tour bus company, you want to let me borrow a tour bus for a few weeks for free? The other part of it is we've we've even gone to you know the the full other side of the pendulum swing and kind of gone well I mean is that wrong do we just not go out do we just say you know oh I lead worship you know at church once a month when I'm scheduled and you know you can come see me there or do we, we do we not actually go out and do the things and that doesn't really feel right either because the other side of it is years and years and years of testimonies of what God does in these nights when we go out and we serve the body of Christ in this way. And the other part of that is just that, that I, I feel called to serve the body of Christ, that this is what I love to do is to, to get with other people around the world in other churches and other cities and come together in unison and worship Jesus. It's so powerful and so special and so incredible. And I love to see what God does in that time. I love to hear the testimonies. There, there are testimonies that really stick with us of, of what God did that, you know, we sit at our dinner table and we share with our kids that we talk about, that we remember. There are testimonies that we remind ourselves when, when things are hard or we're up against something or we're looking at a mountain and we go, oh, do you remember in this city, this person that came and shared this testimony of what God did in their lives? It, it's, we cherish that. It's incredible. And so I don't know that the answer is to not go out. But it is a really frustrating thing. And I, I hear those criticisms and I, I get it. I have, I've had those same criticisms. And so here's something. You could pray. You could pray with us that God provides. If you have it in your heart, by all means, you could fund it. You could fund a tour for a worship leader to go out and do what they do. You could, you got a bus? You want to donate a bus? It could happen. You could you could do that. Um, Cause wouldn't it be incredible, like I said, to be able to to go out and to do what we do, and to not have to charge tickets. Yes, I agree. So I'm just putting this out there. This is just another thought on a Thursday. I think it would be so powerful um, to to have these things funded, to be able to go out and to um, gather people and to say it's free. Bring your unsaved friends, bring your, invite your family, bring them all there and let's all worship Jesus together. I will say, and I will add though, um, I have had many times in the past where we've done these tours and gone into churches. And at the end of the night, when we go to settle up with them to pay them what we owe them for renting their building and everything, when many times they have come to Skylar and I and said, we don't want you to pay us. This, this was not a show. This was not a performance. This was not a concert. This was ministry. And we were so blessed. And so we want to bless you. And we don't want to charge you to, to use the building. 
And that is an incredible blessing to us that every time has moved us to tears when churches have done that. That has just been um, so special. So anyways, all that to say, I know that um, I know that God is faithful and I know that God makes a way. And I know that this is a big dream to be able to go out and to tour and to not charge. And we haven't forgotten that dream. We're still praying for that. And I do believe it's gonna happen one day because I think it's important to the heart of God and I think it would be impactful.